The purpose of this video will be to simplify your decision. Should you buy a Mac with Intel CPU or not? Especially since Apple already announced their transition to their in-house built silicon. I want to make this as quick as possible and easy to understand so you don't have to do second guessing, especially if you are in pursuit for Apple's computer. So should you buy a MacBook or iMac with Intel CPU? I will tell you right after the video. Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple and their competitors. If you're fond of this type of content, please subscribe and don't forget notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So should you buy Intel-based Apple computer? Well, if it's MacBook, yes. If it's iMac, just do your best to wait a little. Now, how come two different answers? First of all, from CPU perspective, there is absolutely no reason why not to pick up any new MacBook or iMac, as a matter of fact. In terms of support, these computers will be supported for a long time before they declare obsolete. These machines are more than capable enough and powerful to deal with next couple of editions of Mac OS. There are actually even few advantages. How many apps are specifically made for Intel-based Macs? Transition to Apple Silicon means that some apps, especially those for professional, would rely on software that translates in order to allow application to work on different platforms that wasn't originally intended for. Like Rosetta 2, for example, in this case, this is a translating app. The problem here can be that it's not uncommon that applications in this case, when translated, are not able to reach 100% of functionality. These apps also can become buggy and so on. The good thing is, Normally, Apple will support all devices even after the transition is made and they're going to continue probably next five to seven years before they scrap Rosetta 2. So you can rest assured it will function perfectly and there is no reason to second guess MacBook with Intel or not. Go for it. If you're a demanding pro that sets eyes on the most powerful and most expensive 16-inch MacBook Pro, you can feel comfortable and without a doubt that this machine will be able to handle everything you drop at it, probably minimum next five years. Many people, especially pros, have a habit to replace their laptop once every year or in two years, three years, and so on. So once again, there is no reason why not to buy Intel-based MacBook. Now you probably wonder why I said just MacBook, but not iMac. First of all, there is a very little difference between iMacs from 2019, 2018, and a couple of years before. Not to mention, you cannot even find an iMac with 10th generation of Intel process, comparable to iMacs. A MacBook's design somehow already got modernized, at least a little bit. Although there is no doubt, it will be improved even further probably from 2021. There are only three groups of people who would be better waiting for the next generations of Apple Macs. First group are customers that tend to keep their computers for a long time, because the last thing those people want to reach the point and not be able to use latest platform features and updates. Second group are those that are already in Apple ecosystem and that would like to enjoy uh, iOS and iPadOS applications on their laptops, probably because it will be better synchronized in real time, more optimized, because in the end of the day, uh, iPhones, iPads, and MacBooks or iMacs will use the same CPU architecture. The last and final group of consumers that should wait and not make the purchase of Intel-based Macs are, believe it or not, potential gamers. Now, before you go crazy, hear me out. There are rumors about Apple-branded gaming machines. This probably next year. It might be better if you wait. Then we have rumors about Apple's AR glasses and VR headset. Even in case that's not true, Apple Silicon is more than capable enough. Now, I know if you're a gamer and if you want to buy Apple's computer, you're probably minority. But if you are, I suggest that you wait just 
a little. Wait till the end of the year. You see, back in June, in WWDC, it was announced the first IMAX with Apple's A chips will come till the end of the year. So stay tuned. It might work like that. I hope this video was helpful. Are you consider buying MacBook or iMac now, or you prefer to wait? Please answer in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up because it's really important to this channel. That's how YouTube algorithm works. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Digital Marketing Channel. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day.